will be a different subject. So, sometimes people display fireworks for many reasons, such as to celebrate festivals or important occasions. Would Hazur kindly explain the teachings of Islam regarding the use of fireworks? <laughs> Very interesting, eh? I have already explained and many times before that the Holy Quran does not have time or space available to go into minor details of everything. It is a teaching for the whole time, for the whole mankind, for all times to come. So how could it go on discussing such minor details uh, of every new invention that, that was to take place by mankind till the end of the day and discuss it from religious aspects. If that were to be, then the Holy Quran would swell to the size of a book much larger than this hall. And then how would you suggest to me that it should be memorized? <laughs> in, this, in this respect, I, I would request that uh, Sayyidina Hazrat Masih Maud al-Islam has come as Hakim and other. So whatever difficulty of that present age, he is to solve. No, no, please sit down. I am coming to this. Please sit down. The point is in fundamentals, as far as the torch bearing is concerned, the Holy Quran has thrown enough light on every subject. And it amply gives us guidelines to make our decisions in details. Even if the Holy Quran had mentioned something about the fireworks that they are permitted for certain, to a certain extent, people uh, who, are, uh, who have uh, fertile brains like you, then they would begin to ask the question whether Fuljhari is permitted or not. <laughs> Or uh, this, uh, you know, there are different names to these fire bands, eh? Anar. Anar and things. And there are so many new inventions in the West. I don't know the names because I am not interested directly in the subject. So there will be no end to these questions. I mentioned the fundamental um, light which is thrown on this subject. It is to be found in the verse, Wahum anillahwe morezum. They are averse to wastefulness. They are averse to all that is hollow and meaningless. So if this uh, player seeking acquires a dimension which begins to interfere with the serious pursuits of man, and becomes a source of danger or interferes with the good qualities of human beings and leads them astray to such pursuits as they destroy a generation among human beings, to that extent they become forbidden in Islam. Under the declaration, Wahum anillahu morizum. But if you seek players sometimes for relaxation occasionally and it gives some value to you. You occasionally give some player to your children and uh, then forget about it and your, your time or money to, to a serious extent is not wasted or not wasted. In that respect, it will not be allowed it will, because it will produce something. So relaxation and diversion, they are also human requirements as long as they do not interfere with the serious pursuits of, man, of, of life. If they are just left in the smaller religion or religion of diversions and occupy only that much space which can be tolerated for them, then they do not become love. They serve a purpose. So these things are to be decided individually in each case and Questions should not be asked as to the details of these things. Allah has given you wisdom and moreover these are the regions where human mind is, is uh, trusted because man has reached maturity. Guidelines are given, 
and then it is left for the mature man to find out the answers to these application in applic and uh, these uh, questions in various applications and applications would differ from place to place and time to time and uh, no one answer can cover everything except the answer which is given in the holy quran wahum anillahu wa morizu one one more question please as long as people do not start dropping asleep <laughs> no, 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 I can ask the other session. No, it's not very about my questions. Pardon? If uh, the time is finished, I can ask in the other section, the sessions. No, what is the opinion? Shall we permit him to ask one question or you want to ask a question? So please sit down and give him. I see there. Oh, come on. <coughs> you know, time is running out. We better give chance to first you and then to Mr. Uh, Kokar, full name? Nadim has already asked the question. Mr. Kokar has not yet asked. Mr. Kokar's full name is Hafiz. Hafiz Ahmed Kokar or Hafizullah? Ghulam Ahmed Hafiz. 